Howdy folks, and welcome back to World of Warships with Rear Admiral Jingles. Today's video was going to be a big whinge about how battleships badly need a buff. I've pretty much, well, not just pretty much, I've completely stayed away from battleships so far in the open beta because they badly need a short-range buff. Uh, in my opinion, anyway. I mean, hands up anybody who's been sailing a battleship and a cruiser's managed to get to within close range. And you've got to take this guy out before he turns and unleashes the torpedoes in his tail. You know what these Japanese cruisers are like. And you line up a perfect shot with all of your 15-inch guns at point-blank range, pull the trigger, and every single one of them misses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've all been there. And that's basically what today's video was going to be. And then I read the news on the World of Warships website that the test server is going up today for patch 0.41, and right there in the patch notes, accuracy of battleships' main battery guns significantly increased at ranges of up to 3 kilometers. Oh, great. <laughs> well, I mean, that's good, but it's really taken the wind out of my sails, so what am I going to do today? Well, instead, no particular theme to today's World of Warships video, just uh, a couple of battles that I played quite recently, as in, in the last couple of days, that I thought were sufficiently amusing for me to put on YouTube. My first match, I'm in the Japanese Tier 3 destroyer, the Wakataki. Um, it's a good little ship. I mean, it's typical of your Japanese destroyers. The torpedoes are... Well, the torpedoes aren't great on this ship, but they're not bad, and they're certainly better than the Americans. Seven kilometer range, and they do a significant amount of damage. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll fire these torpedoes at that guy. You never know your luck. Uh, <laughs> that's what we in the entertainment business call foreshadowing. <laughs> Let's see if they hit. Um, yeah, they're looking pretty good. All kinds of enemy ships on the other side of that island. Uh, and I'm trying to cap here. I almost always rush... Oh, crap, I've been spotted. Right, I need to get out of here. Torpedoes are not reloaded. Okay. Smokescreen dropped. Speed boost activated. Billy Big Steps in the other direction. That's a lot of enemy ships. I am not detected anymore. What do you think is going to happen to those torpedoes? <laughs> it's as sure as death and taxes, isn't it? <laughs> he knew I was there. He's the one who detected me. But does he turn the ship? No, no, no. Of course not. That would be silly. And the announcer's drunk again. The enemy team has taken the lead. No, they haven't. <laughs> We've got more than 100 points more than them. Go home, you drunk. Right, anyway. The guns on this ship, by the way, nothing like the Usukazi at Tier 4. The guns on this thing are terrible. Um, it only has three of them, and they take 45 seconds to turn all the way around, so, yeah. If you do find yourself in the lucky position of um, being able to fire the guns at something, then, yeah, by all means, pull the trigger. But, yeah, don't expect that to happen too often. I mean, I'm so close to this guy that he's now detected me as well. Do you think these torpedoes <laughs> are going to hit the target? Yeah, here it comes. Somebody's paying attention. I've taken a hit. I've lost a lot of health. I've lost a lot of health. Um, speed boost has faded. I've got no smoke screen to hide in. I just need to get my ass around this island and take cover over here. Oh, taking another hit. Yeah, that's not good. My engine's out. Repair that. Definitely repair that. I'm now on half health. Oh, look. Uh, <laughs> oh, look, the torpedoes hit. Well, who'd have seen that one coming? <laughs> Seriously, people complain about destroyers in World of Warships all the time, but guys, you are not making it difficult for us. Oh, there he is. I've just taken, what, 26,000 health off him? And he's still sailing in a straight line. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> torpedoes are reloaded um, and he's there I mean why would I not put another spread of torpedoes his way so yeah you can have another four torpedoes they're cheap I've got plenty of them he's going to continue sailing in a straight line I mean I'm long past the stage now where I try to you know create an air of tension about whether or not these torpedoes are going to hit you know they're going to hit right? you know he is going to continue sailing in a straight line after losing two-thirds of his health to a destroyer that he saw, and which took 26,000 of his health off. Now, I can't afford to stick around and gloat. I mean, he's dead. They're going to hit him. But there's a 10 Ryu coming around here, less than six kilometers away. So, 
Oh, there we go. Yeah. You knew he was going to die. I'm not trying to make a thing out of it here. He's a battleship. Battleships sail in straight lines and they die to destroyers and then go on the forums and complain about how destroyers are overpowered. So I've uh, fired a spread of that Tenryu. i um, been spotted by this Wix. Now, that, yeah. yeah, and the Tenryu, I don't know if you saw them coming or if you just turned to get around the island, but they're going to miss. Now, the Wix did spot me and I am starting to take fire. Now, I'm anticipating that Wix coming steaming straight around this corner and my being able to launch a spread right into him as he comes around. It's difficult to hit a destroyer with torpedoes, but sometimes if they're dumb enough, you can do it. There's a St. Louis and a Chester up there. Ten Ryu can no longer shoot at me. There's the Wix. I put the torpedoes into the water just as the Wix disappears. The Wix is actually not as dumb as I expected, and he has slowed down, anticipating me firing torpedoes around the corner at him. And he spotted me. Now, by some miracle, my guns happen to be pointing in the right direction. And for the first time ever, I fire the guns on the Wakataki. But the St. Louis is opening up. I actually score a hit on the Wix and take a thousand of his health off. Did not expect that to happen, but he powers up again, gets underway now that I've been spotted and starts shooting at me. So I've got three Americans shooting at me, a destroyer and two cruisers. One of them's a St. Louis. And I'm getting shot at from the rear. My engine gets knocked out. Actually, my steering gets knocked out. I immediately repair that. Now, while I'm aiming the next torpedo spread at this Chester, do you remember the torpedoes I fired at the wicks around the corner of that island? Yep, they hit the St. Louis. <laughs> oh yeah. Now, I'm expecting that Tenryu up ahead to launch his torpedoes and turn away, because that's what Japanese cruisers do. And he has launched his torpedoes, but now he's turning in, and he's going to sail straight into mine, so I type a warning in chat. Torpedoes are in the water at this stage, there's nothing else I can do. And I don't know if it was because of my warning or because he was paying attention or it was just blind luck, but the torpedoes do miss him. Of course, my torpedoes don't hit the Chester either because he turned away from the spread of torpedoes launched by that Japanese cruiser up there. So, yeah, okay. Well, I'm not going to hit everything every time I fire my torpedoes. I mean, that would just be too much. But by some miracle of chance, my guns are actually pointing at the wicks again. I put a couple of shots out. I don't think I hit anything. No. But it did look like the Wix was trying to come down the slot in between those two islands and ambush the Ten Ryu. So again, I fire a blind spread between the two islands and try to head him off at the pass. But again, he's not that stupid. Not knowing that I'm here, he's not going to come around and eat a spread of torpedoes from me. So while I'm aiming at the Chester, the Wix pops up again. Now, the guns happen to be pointing in the right direction, but I'm not going to get into a gunfight against the Wix class destroyer and a Chester class cruiser. Not in this thing and not with the amount of health that I have left. So instead I pop smoke and I get the hell out of there. And the Tenryu class cruiser back there, old Daikor, he nails the wicks, which is fantastic news. And now I never ever thought you would hear me say this in a game of World of Warships, but that Chester's actually moving too fast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or, you know, I'm too far away or my torpedoes aren't fast enough, but I'm not going to be able to torpedo him. Uh, but I am no longer detected. I'm outside his detection range. And then he disappears. Now, he's actually taken advantage of the smoke screen. Didn't do it deliberately. He's trying to get away from the destroyer and the cruiser who are shooting at him. But uh, I can't see him because of the smoke screen that I have dropped. But I know he is there. Now, they have two other cruisers left. The Chester's the Tier 2. And he's on the other side of that island. And they've got a pair of Tier 3s down at the other end of the map. A St. Louis, which is bad news and a Tenryu. And, you know, the guns on the Tenryu aren't bad either. I'm not so worried about the torpedoes on the Tenryu. I mean, I have advanced torpedo avoidance skills every now and then. I press the A or the D key. <laughs> yeah, it's really hard. Uh, it takes hours of practice. Anyway, um, keeping an eye open for that Chester because he's, I don't want him to spot me as I'm sneaking up on the... Ah, and then he spots me as I'm sneaking up on the St. Louis. Oh, great. So, start turning, start turning, because he is going to be shooting. And I can't launch torpedoes at him from there. No nope, islands in the way. My biggest fear here was that the St. Louis and the Ten Ryu were going to be paying attention. Because if the St. Louis starts shooting at me, I'm a dead man. But they were either busy or weren't paying attention. Now, I've no real hope of these torpedoes actually hitting the Chester. Because he's 6.7 kilometers away. They only have a 7 kilometer range. And he's sailing a parallel course. But nothing else is in range. So I'll put them in the water anyway. Now, these torpedoes do reload very quickly. And I may be able to get close enough to the St. Louis to put some into him and finish him off. The Tenryo over there is about to go down. And, yep, he's gone. And then I get detected by sailing too close to the St. Louis. And the Chester, of course, starts firing at me. 
So I start turning. The Chester's firing at me, but he's not turning, is he? He's still sailing a parallel course, and as sure as death and taxes, the torpedoes hit him. <laughs> <laughs> and I get a high calibre, and I cap, which is nice. I'm just showing off now, aren't I? High calibre in a tier 3 destroyer. In order to get the high calibre award in World of Warships, you have to do damage exceeding the combined total of 30% of the enemy team's health. I actually did over 72,000 torpedo damage in that game. Uh, just because people continue to sail in straight lines when they know there's a destroyer around. Uh, and some high explosive damage from my main guns, but yeah, who's counting? So that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Well, anyway, the next game is going to be in the USS Phoenix, the American Tier 4 Light Scout Cruiser. This is a Tier 5 match. The enemy team have two Tier 5 carriers. We've got one Tier 5 and one Tier 4 carriers, and they're going to be a problem. Uh, because down at this kind of level, nobody's got good anti-aircraft guns, except for the Yubari, the premium Tier 4 Japanese cruiser, which is getting a buff, by the way, in the uh, patch coming up on the test server. Uh, it's going to get the defensive fire cooldown. Yes, that's right, a Tier 4 cruiser is going to get the defensive fire cooldown that you don't get anywhere else until Tier 6 on cruisers. It's not much of a buff, because the Yabari's anti-aircraft guns, they're primarily 25mm anti-aircraft guns, so they're really only good for self-defense. But it's, you know, it's still a buff. They're going to be very, very difficult to kill with aircraft. But they're not really fleet escorts in the way that Tier 6 and above cruisers are. And in a way that the Phoenix definitely isn't. The Phoenix's anti-aircraft guns... They're not good. Uh, <laughs> the Omaha at Tier 5 can have good anti-aircraft guns. Um, a patch back, I think they gave the Omaha a new hull upgrade, the C version of the hull, uh, as opposed to you know the A and the B version, not C as in ocean. Oh, you know what I mean. Unfortunately, in order to get that good anti-aircraft rating, you have to sacrifice one of your torpedo launchers on either side. Yes, these ships have torpedoes. Everybody always forgets that. And you also have to lose a couple of gun turrets, so you know, I don't really think it's worth it. But anyway, back to the Phoenix. And this, by the way, was the game that unlocked the Omaha for me. Now, I have to admit, I did not have a warm, fuzzy feeling in the pit of my stomach when this match started. Our top-tier destroyer, we've got a Nicholas here, he's actually two kilometres behind me. I'm actually scouting for him. I mean, I know the Phoenix is a scout cruiser, but this is just taking the piss. This guy actually sat on his arse in the cap circle at the beginning of the match for a minute in a top-tier destroyer and waited to see where everybody else was going. I mean, yeah. So I don't have a great deal of confidence that this guy is going to be useful. Our carriers, on the other hand, were really on the ball. They've sent their aircraft up ahead here, and they've started to lighten up targets. There's a Wix-class destroyer up there, and that's a St. Louis-class cruiser. I have high explosive preloaded, anticipating running the destroyers first, and I start hosing this guy down and set him on fire. Why aren't you firing armoured piercing at the St. Louis jingles? It's only a tier 3 cruiser. Yeah, but it's a protected cruiser. And with the kind of low calibre guns that ships like the Phoenix and the Omaha are equipped with, I get far too many bouncers for comfort when I'm shooting at a ship like the St. Louis. If I was shooting at a Chester, no problem. Tenryu, no problem. Armour piercing all the time. But the St. Louis is a tough little bugger. So I tend to save high explosive for these guys. Now this guy's taken all kinds of damage. Again, our carriers were on the ball. And he thinks he's safe behind that island. He's not. <laughs> he can't fire at me, because he's too close to the island. But I'm going to get a couple of shots on him. I don't have much of a firing window here, but he's burning and he's flooding. And bang, there you go, first blood. Which is nice. Um, <laughs> And again, you know, credit's got to go to the carriers here because they hammered him with torpedo bombers and dive bombers. I wasn't the only one setting this guy on fire. Um, but anyway, first kill. And it's a St. Louis. And those little buggers are dangerous. I don't care if you were in a Tier 4 or a Tier 5 cruiser. The St. Louis is a dangerous ship. Never underestimate them. And there's another one up there. And there's also a destroyer. And yeah, look, there's, the, there's our destroyer. Do you see him? He's actually he's still behind me. Look, there he is. What the hell? I... I need to stay away from this guy because I have absolutely no confidence that he isn't accidentally going to torpedo me. The way this fellow's playing, anything can happen. So I'm slowing it down. Go on then, off you go. Be a destroyer. Go and find targets for me. I'm the cruiser. Start speeding it up again now that he is finally up front where he should have been all along. I'm no longer detected by aircraft. 
keeping an eye open on the aircraft on the other side of the mountain range there. And there's there's one of the other... I say one of the other St. Louis's. There are three of the little buggers around here. High explosive, ready to go. Start hosing him up again. Hosing him up. <laughs> hosing him down. You know what I mean. I get lucky. One of my initial shots sets him on fire. And... Oh, I'm being detected by air. He's actually sailed behind the island. He can't see me directly, but I am being detected by aircraft. Um, they're too far away for me to shoot them down. That so-called friendly destroyer, he's far enough away from me and heading in the other direction. Fine, so it's just me and this St. Louis now. Or well, so I thought. There he is. So I'm going to get into a gunfight with this St. Louis. Hopefully he's still burning. And he hasn't used his damage repair ability. Or oh, he had. And no, he's used it. So he's no longer burning. Right. The initial advantage is mine because I'm broadside on. Um, and he can only fire a certain number of his guns at me. But he immediately starts turning. How and how far away is he? Yeah. He's close enough for me to fire torpedoes. <laughs> uh, everybody always forgets that the Phoenix has torpedoes. Now, they're not particularly fast torpedoes, and they only have a five and a half kilometer range, but it has torpedoes. You get yourself within five and a half kilometers of a Phoenix, or an Omaha, he's gonna launch torpedoes at you. We don't just turn broadside on in these things so we can maximize the number of guns shooting at you. Oh no, we have a far more nefarious purpose. <laughs> run away, little St. Louis, run away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on, finish him off. There we go. Fantastic. Oh my god, there's another one. And I'm burning. Well, I'm going to have to keep burning for a bit. You see how much damage that St. Louis did to me. If it wasn't for the torpedoes on this thing, he might very well have killed me. He should, of course, have been firing armor piercing. Because the St. Louis can penetrate the armor of a ship like the Phoenix with its armor piercing. Whereas the Phoenix struggles to penetrate the armor of a ship like the St. Louis with its armor piercing. Oh, but do I have torpedo launchers on the other side of the ship? I think I do. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I love people underestimating the Phoenix. It is such a good little ship. I mean, its guns aren't bad, but it's got nowhere near the kind of firepower that a ship like the St. Louis has. But you can control the engagement when you're fighting ships like St. Louis's because you are significantly faster than them and you can get close enough while taking damage. But you can get close enough quickly enough. Um, oh, hang on a minute. Are those friendly torpedoes by any chance? Uh, <laughs> well, I wonder who fired those. Yeah, there he is. Shit for brains in the Nicholas. It's as sure as death and taxes. Friendly ships in the line of fire. I might accidentally team kill the St. Louis and the Phoenix. Their fault for being in the wrong place. Torpedoes away. What an idiot. The St. Louis there is actually dead in the water. He's like, nope, nope, not going around the corner. Nope, not with that idiot around there. No, sorry, I'm waiting for him to fire and then I'll move. But anyway, mustn't grumble too much. I do, after all, now have three kills and the first blood award and a devastating strike. Uh, ably assisted by our carriers who were very, very good in this match. You can see they're sending their torpedo bombers and dive bombers and fighters off over there to try to pin down the location of the enemy carriers following those enemy aircraft all the way home fighters coming out trying to intercept the torpedo bombers but you can see where the enemy carriers have got to be from the direction the fighters have come from so swiggity swooty gonna get me some carrier booty which is going to be dangerous by the way because i do not have a lot of health left and while, yeah, I'm a cruiser, you've got anti-aircraft guns, yeah, but the, the Phoenix doesn't have very good anti-aircraft guns at all. Um, this is by no means a fleet escort ship like the Cleveland, the Pensacola, the New Orleans, the Baltimore. Um, self-defense only, and it's not that good at self-defense. So, I don't want to get spotted by any of these guys on the way in. So I spend the next minute taking a nice wide berth all the way around the top end of the map, staying the hell away from all those enemy aircraft. And I can do this because I'm in a Phoenix and it'll do 35 knots. I've been detected, and I've been detected by a ship, which means I've got to be within spitting distance of an enemy carrier. And there he is. Poor old St. Louis, who was behind me at the spot where we killed those enemy St. Louises. He's well out of this game now. He's just not fast enough to chase down the surviving enemy ships. 
There's only two of them, of course. It's both the carriers. This game's over. It's just a question of staying alive and potentially getting another kill. I don't think I find any armor piercing in this game. Never came across ships that required armor piercing ammunition. Well, having said that, you can get some good results firing armor piercing at a carrier. Um, if you need that carrier to die and you need it to die fast, hit it with armor piercing. You'll do a lot more damage. You won't knock its flight deck out of commission, however, and it will be able to launch aircraft at you. And I don't want this guy to launch aircraft at me <laughs> because I don't have a lot of health. And I'm obviously not the only one shooting at him. Citadel penetration, by the way, with high explosive. Hoorah! <laughs> That's just adding insult to injury. And you know what? The guns on the Phoenix, they don't do that much more damage with armor piercing than high explosive anyway. Um, so, why the hell not? There we go, kill number four. Another Citadel penetration with my high explosive ammunition. And what's behind door number four? It's the final enemy carrier. But even with a 35 knot top speed, I was just too far away to get in there and ninja the kill or even do any more damage. And the carriers got him, which I think is entirely appropriate because they certainly deserved it. They played a fantastic game. Quarter of a million credits earned and, well, okay, 5,000 experience. But before you start choking on your cornflakes, I was actually flying the signal flag, which gave me an extra 50% to the total experience earned in the match. But the base experience of 1,700 was still pretty impressive. I actually did... I think 91, 92,000 damage in total in that match from a combination of torpedoes, high explosive and fires. And a little bit of flooding damage as well. So that's the Phoenix, the American Tier 4 light cruiser. Fantastic little ship. Hopefully by the time you see this video I'll be on the test server having a look at patch 0.41. Although, well, mm, let's put it this way. I registered a new account on the test server and they said they'd send an email to confirm it. And they didn't send an email to confirm it. So I popped along to the World of Warships test server website and said, yeah, if you didn't get an email, press this button, which took me to the Russian language support page. So, yeah. Oh, wargaming. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know. We'll see what happens. One way or another, by the time you watch this video, I'll know whether or not I've managed to get onto the test server. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, take care, and I'll catch you next time.